Hi everyone, this is your friend Meena Dolwani from Destination CEO. I want to share a story with all of you, a story of one of my best friends, a story of some interesting experiences that we share together. I'm not going to mention her name because she'll kill me um, <laughs> because eventually she's going to watch this, but let's call her Maggie. Maggie was my first Canadian friend, first friend that I met when I came to Canada 20 years ago. Maggie was a stay-at-home mom and uh, she came from South America. Her first language is Spanish. So when she came to Canada, she didn't speak any English. So the first thing she did as a newcomer was learn English. And then she upgraded her skills and ended up getting a fantastic job with the government. Well, she did very, very well. And she met her husband and they got married and she made a deal with herself and with him that when she starts having kids, she's going to start, she's going to stop working and raise them. What so happened, she uh, gave up her phenomenal government job and stayed at home and raised three beautiful children. When I met her, our kids were quite young, similar ages, and uh, you know, because she was stay at home and I was having mine and mine were younger, we became really close friends um, in and out of each other's homes. Anyways. Um, because Spanish was her first language, I kind of was her only English speaking friend. So, so many times she'd speak to me in Spanish without realizing I had to remind her, Hey, Maggie, <laughs> I don't speak any Spanish. Anyways, um, moving forward a few years when the kids grew up and uh, life changed and she wanted to get back into the workforce. She was always cognizant with the fact that she did not speak English. And for that reason alone, she, she didn't like to go for interviews. So, and I was in recruitment and uh, I was a job developer. I owned my own agency. So I, I would set up informational interviews for her and she was so fantastic. I always knew that she was going to end up getting the job. And she did <laughs> and life went on and you know there were many times that the jobs um, she was in transition the job would end um, and then we would do it again and you know it would happen again but there came a point where I moved homes so we kind of had a little distance because now I was not living in the same building as her and um, so we didn't see each other that often when that happened, I realized that I don't speak to her that much. And somehow there was a distance in not just location, homes, but in communication. So one day I called her and I said, hey, really sorry, I've been really busy with my new job and my new home. How are things going and blah, blah, blah. And then suddenly the topic went into, I've been busy, but what's she been up to? That's when she told me that she was actually avoiding having conversations with me. And, you know, that kind of made me feel bad. And I said, why? And she said, because every time I talked to her, it was about work and what do you do and how is things at work or, or not. And since she had ended the job or her job had ended, she was laid off. Um, every time I asked her about employment made her look into certain insecurities within herself and did not make her feel good I mean a simple thing was I didn't even realize I was so <laughs> I want to say daft that I didn't even think that me asking her those questions made her feel uncomfortable so the next time when a fantastic opportunity arrived I didn't mention it to her, but I mentioned it when she was around. And when I mentioned it, she immediately said, oh, she'd love to apply. And guess what? She's been working there for the past couple of years. The reason I'm telling you this story is that there are a lot of people around you that care for you. And a lot of people want to help. And I know that when 
you know coaches and recruiters and people like me tell you to post a little bit about yourself to uh, make a LinkedIn post to to share a little bit about yourself on social media um, many of you feel afraid and insecure and uncomfortable but at the end of the day you're keeping yourself away from opportunities because if you're not telling anybody how's everybody going to know and as much as you want to think that you are the universe of everybody's lives and nobody and people have nothing better to do but to look at you well here you're wrong but tell you one thing that people love reading people love reading stories people love connecting with new people so when you share a little bit about yourself i'm talking about your professional story your achievements your accomplishments you know there are people like me who are looking for talent like you so they may reach out they may tag you at opportunities they may want to help you but if you're going to hide behind those those invisible shells that you know somebody's judging you and they, you're, you're somebody's going to make a nasty comment there's going to be naysayers or haters trust me nobody has the time everybody is so busy in their own lives nobody has the time but yes when you do post about yourself your accomplishments a little bit about your journey many of us do read and we want to help out so if you don't have somebody in your pod that you can talk about you're uncomfortable with putting yourself out there then perhaps now is the time that you reach out to somebody like me or reach out to somebody that is close to you and and let them know how you feel and what you want to do you are amazing i've said that literally in every post of mine you're phenomenal you've been through so much really employment that's really what's bothering you life is much more than work i love my life i love all of those ups and downs that have been i love especially those downs because those downs has made me who i am today had i not felt the hunger had my my students my international students not shared with me that they couldn't afford two meals a day my perception of those international students was what i had learned from everybody around me they have a lot of money they come to canada because they have money but they take a lot of loans to come to canada they work uh, cash jobs under the table jobs they sleep on the class benches and hallways because they can't afford to have a room i didn't know that and i would never have known that had one of my international students not shared that so guys there are a lot of people who want to help you reach out to them but first know that you are amazing your story is worth sharing and there are many people who aspire to be like you who in who get inspired because of you be out there share a little bit not a lot just a little bit maybe not with everybody but with a few we love you we care for you so my 10 minutes message <laughs> hopefully my friend doesn't see this video but if she does i love you maggie and i just wanted to make a point be out there this is your friend meena dovani from destination ceo if i can be of any help just reach out i'm only one message away thank you have a wonderful day